hi everyone welcome to this video today right then let me show you what we've got today to play with i've got some crystals ready all facing up the right way because we know what an absolute pain in the arse they are to put the right way i've picked this um back in because i liked i wanted to do a little bit of clear embossing and if you can see the shine on there the pattern's already on um the paper pad i've just done a little bit more detail there's just a few little back back swirls and then i've just done some round here some in in the middle um just done more lines um so yeah i've already prepared the card like i normally do i'm going to be using these three flowers today so i've matched the backing card to the flowers rather than the backing paper that's what i do sometimes um done the inside of the card that's the blank area what they're right on a couple of daisies there that match done right then while i move that out the way i do want to distress the outer edges of this card so that's what i'm going to do now i want to do a couple of tears as well oh also what i want to do as well is before i forget otherwise i will forget let me get some card so i don't damage it i've got this um pinwheel tracer it makes um dots on the paper so i normally do it with a ruler about that much about three mil and then go open them in frame and then just follow press on quite hard and then follow the ruler as a guide and then it makes little dots which i'll show you in a minute okay I'll put the paper underneath because i didn't want it to mess my underneath up with holes okay so let's just see if you can see that so it creates like little holes looks like the sewing machine uh, needles been in but it hasn't it's just a pinwheel thing so let's distress the outer edge a little bit more easy to distress the edges you just obviously got to the thicker the card you're using the easier it is to distress the thinner the card the more easier it is and delicate it is it will tear best just to hold it and just do little sections if you've got um thinner paper like i'm doing now on the corners um I'll show you there so if they've got a thinner paper just do an inch at a time and then move up oh see tour then so a little bit like that okay right then now the pinwheel as well as you run that around the edge it makes it easier to fold up the edges as well i want to do a couple of tears too because i've got these little pieces of lace um, paper lace that I've done I've done uh, alcohol mark dark grey and then I've done um, embossing powder which is clear varnish so it's like nice and shiny the same is what I've used on that part of the card as well so let's have a look where we're gonna go I think I don't know whether I want because that rose there I'm not keen on so I might cover that up and then play with the flowers 
around there but then that covers that up um this is why it's good just to have a play around I might just use those two or i might just use those three there they look nice don't they together there so let's push it right up into the corner yeah yeah i like it like that so we're going to be the flowers there so the tear can be on here so let's roll i'll just roll it in between my fingers until i get a nice curve on it like so and then just bounce it back just so it bends on its own and because that tore there earlier mouse will go with it and make that bend okay so now we're going to put these A little bit more gluey John get the next one ready and then pop that underneath there and then it just looks nice because it just pokes through the little bits that you've tore okay so as you can see I've already strengthened the back like I normally do wait for that glue to dry and then I've already done some leaves done this colour today similar to on the last card and then I've also got a little chipboard embellishment as well I like using these and I've coloured it with an alcohol marker to match the backing card uh, so I want to use that as well um, not sure whether I want it raised off Or whether it just goes on the card so we'll see right okay that's on now so let's attach the card to where it's going to go on make sure i've got it in the right way so let's have a look right. i've been adding glue on these as well just gives me a little bit more slip room because these normally you just pop them down and that's it just gives you no leeway at all okay so let's pop it on and let's give it a, a shift that's it pretty good there give it a squish down right then so we've established we want the the flowers up in that corner i would do want them quite squished in together though so a little bit like that i'm not sure whether i'd, I'd just want to use the two smaller ones to be honest rather than the big one yeah i think they're just the two smaller ones today we'll save that big white one for another day right then so let's have a look We'll get the flowers on first and then we'll have a discussion of where we're going to go afterwards. Oh, need a new glue stick. Bear with. I normally have everything ready, but not the glue stick. There we go. Hold it up until it takes. There we go. Rightio then, let's get some leaves on. When I can't see what I'm doing or liking it at the minute, I want to get some leaves on. That always changes things then, doesn't it? 
to again just give them a fold up on the ends just to give it a little bit more shape another way of doing let me just grab this and show you another way of doing a leaf shape is to get your ball tally thing and then what you can do is press on it like that to give it shape and then it curves in on itself or the opposite way around just do it around on the edges like that and sweepy roundy motions and then it gives a curl like that so that looks nice as well I just prefer to give it a bend in the middle and then give it a good screw up that's just the way I like to do them some people don't they like to keep them neat you do you right then let's stickage this one down Father's Day Sunday in the UK and do you know I haven't sold one Father's Day card I was shocked I don't think people I have more ladies from America buy my cards I find people I get messages on my Etsy shop uh, there aren't for sale in my Etsy shop if you want the link let me know but they're UK pounds so £6.95 for a card um, and people message me saying oh will you accept £3 and they're all mainly people from the UK that just want to barter you down to literally like you, you'd be literally not even making anything you'd be at a loss you'd be actually paying them to have the card um, but yeah people in the UK I find just really tight I know not everybody in the UK is, but that's what I'm finding at the minute. They have messages left, right and centre going, oh, can you, would you accept like £2.50 with free postage as well? It's like, are you joking that the box to post is like over £3.50 for tracking? I don't want to do no tracking as well because obviously, you know, they could, you know, be dishonest and say, oh, it didn't turn up. And then... You know, I'd always refund them the money. So that's why I always like to add the added post of tracking on. You know, people say, oh, don't use tracking, it's too expensive. But I'd rather just, yeah, with the box, the size of it is £3, uh, just over £3.50 in the UK. I know I could do flatter cards, which I have tried to in the past, but they just don't look nowhere near what what I like them to look like. Don't get me wrong, they do look pretty, um, but I just, I might have to start doing them um, not as 3D, to be honest. So they, I can say, probably offer free um, shipping. But... We'll see. It's only early days. I've only opened the shop a month ago. So, and I've sold about 20 so far. So, that ain't too bad. Like I say, the ladies in America mainly, they buy like three or four or five of them at a time, which is fabulous. And they've the postage is just America as well. It's like thirty odd pound when I've boxed them all up, and it's like way more than the cards themselves. But they still want the cards, which I find so flattering. I find it lovely. But no, the UK people, will you accept two pound fifty with free postage? I'm like, 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And yeah, I was telling you about the Father's Day cards. Well, no, I did do a few. Just to, well, not loads. I think I've got about four to sell. Um, but no, not one person bought a Father's Day card. Same with Mother's Day. No one bought a Mother's Day card. I have a few people buy wedding cards. I sell a lot of those. And then also, I mentioned in the last video, um, pink and blue cards sell the best. So if you're one of those people that like to sell their cards, that's what I'm finding. I'm finding that like the natural colours don't tend to sell us as nicely strange but you have to keep going don't you you have to keep it right i want to hang this from something that looks like it's hanging can you see so i probably will attach that to there I'm going to have to glue this little bit though because because I've moved it a few times it always weakens the paper you know when you move, move it in direction yeah All right then, let's have a look. I wanted that there. So I need it a little bit more. A little bit more glued there really. So we'll just hold that in place there for now. And then I think these are dream catchers that they're called. I think but yeah I want it hanging from there if possible just I've got a bit of embossing powder and things won't stick if I don't get rid of it so let's put a tiny bit of glue on so I don't want it seeping out too much there we go down nice now that bit's loose there but it's fine don't need to stick that down because it's hot glue literally it will stick itself down and it won't move um right then let's have a look what we've done so far getting the glue strings off right there, let's puff them up a bit these have been in my drawer weeks and weeks Weeks and weeks and weeks, these ones have. They definitely need poofing up. Um, do I need any more leaves? Don't think I do. Now I've done the leaves, the background colour, you can't really see the leaves. Which I'm a bit disappointed on. But it does look nice. It's not that, not that I'm not liking it. Right, let's put some diamantes on now. So let's shove them up this way you always spend time getting them the right way up because you know what a pain they are right I'm going to put one definitely up the top there Right then, I wanted that one there definitely. And then probably another one there, probably a smaller one. Uh, we'll do a lighter blue. There. Very nice. And we'll start sticking some of these pretty crystals down. Do any of you nice ladies sell your cards? Where do you sell them? 
um, what do you charge for them I just tried to work out obviously I'm not some a lot of my cards you don't I don't even make a, a lot on them but because I like making them I thought I might as well just sell them because I haven't got room for them That's Bubba, you can hear snoring. He's having a proper snorey do today. Am I the only one that is obsessed with getting the glue strings off? Does it, does it bother everybody else? It drives me insane. <sighs> oh, I wake Bubba up then with that noise. It's funny. He's like, Mum, what's wrong? I heard you. You okay, Mama? Sometimes in the night, because he sleeps with me, he snores that bad that I can't hear the telly. So I always do a trick where I, I just go, Who's that? Who is it? And he's like, his ears perk up and he stops snoring. And any other time, like I could say, Shout, Bobby, you're snoring, shut up, and all this business. He don't hear me. But if I say that, he seems to perk up. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your guard dog. Even though he's a right puff, he's a right girl's blouse, as my mum used to say, bless her. Oh dear, I'm getting stuck with them now. I used to have a hot tub where, when I lived with my husband, and uh, the one night he must have forgot that I was outside, um, and I must have come in, obviously, and he must have been fast asleep. And he literally, I thought he was going to go for me because it shocked him because I, I walked in and he must have been deep asleep. And he literally, like I say, really aggressively barked at me, but then also ran up the stairs and weed himself across the living room because we've got wooden floor and stairs. Weed himself all across the floor, halfway up the stairs as well. Wet himself for fear. So... He isn't as uh, much of a guard dog as he, he thinks he is. Which is a little bit funny, I think. He, he thinks he's hard. But he's about hard as melted butter. Funner. Always remember it. And now, because he gets like super... Scared, I always shout and say, I'm coming through, Bubba, you're asleep, Mummy's here. Because I don't want to scare him. Because they proper fall asleep, like, really heavy, don't they, at night? I thought they make me laugh. Right then, put the gems on, they look pretty. So, let's sort... Uh, right, I've got everything in here, in my little box now. So, I need... Two. Oh, that's a nice butterfly. Let's have a look what we've got. Follow your heart. I like that one, so let me put that one back. Yeah. So let's put a spacey thing on here. I didn't get one of these ready, so I'll get one ready now. So always cut that one in half. So oh 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 crikey roller. Right then. 
that side. So we shall put it there, right in that empty corner. Let's see if we are level. Don't want it wonky. Don't want to do wonky, do we? Don't want to have follow your heart in wonky letters. Right then. Yeah, that's a nice card. Fabulous. In the next video, I'm going to show you my new butterflies I've got. Um, I don't think I've got any out at the minute. Let's have a look. Oh, I have. So these butterflies here um, are my new butterflies. So they're just white card. And what you do is you colour the background, obviously, whatever colour you want. And then this uh, on the top is a stamp. So you could put a stamp on. Let's see if one of these butterflies would go on here. Let's have a look. I might use him. Let's put a little bit of colour on him because he's not matching much at the minute, is he? So let's use this one. This is a Spectrum Noir. No. Oh, these are new. I've got these from Hobbycraft. I'm, I'm liking them. I might use this butterfly. We shall see. So let's colour him a little bit blue. Because I need him to match the car, don't we? The tiny little lines. Because I'd already coloured him in like a navy blue. He probably won't work, but we'll see, we can see. I will do an updated butterfly um, colouring card thing very soon. So let's colour his body in black. I think he's throwing me off. Right, okay. And then we'll do some little few more little shapes. Of what I like my butterflies to look like. Um, let's have a look. Right then. Let me see. Yeah, that looks, he looks nice, doesn't he? So I'm not sure whether he's going to be too big or whether we pop him there. I'll leave him off for now. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Yes to the butterfly. Let's fold him up a bit so he looks proper. So like that. Yes to the butterfly or no to the butterfly. Pop him there or there. Let me know. We'll leave him off for now. Alright then, see you in the next video. Bye everybody.